Now, some people would think that to counter westernization, I have to be rough with the disbelievers, look down at them, curse them, slit their throats, uh, uh, do things that have no relationship to Islam. Hmm. No, follow your prophet, how did he treat the Jews and the Christians? Oh, he used to spit on them. No, this is wrong. Hmm. Wrong answer. The prophet, salam, used to treat them well. But he would not go down to degrade himself, salam, or Islam. He would not feel inferior to them. He always had the upper hand. When they invited him, he would attend their invitation. Hmm. There's no westernization in this. Because he went as a Muslim, being proud of being a Muslim, and no compromise in my religion. A Jew woman invited him to eat at uh, 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 her place. He went with his companions, accepted the invitation. So it shows you how the Prophet used to treat the Jews and the Christians. Adi ibn Hatim was a Christian, was a wearing a big cross, he, he, he did not have anything to do with the bling blings. It was just a cross that they, like the Catholics and the Orthodox use. He went and the Prophet hosted him in his house, gave him a couch and a cushion to lean on. And he said to him, Adi, remove this idol from your chest. This is shirk. Mm. So he's inviting him to Islam into, in his house. So you have to have the balance between the two extremes.